Yes, bitch. Yes. Woo! Oh my Woo! god. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, what kind of like energy are we feeling right now? Like, I mean, really, where, where, where are we? Busted, and confused. Busted. Busted. What happened? Days. You all of a sudden, like, I mean, glazed over. Like, you just, I mean, I think I'm finally feeling the Bachelorette. I'll say it once. I'll say it again. Like, really? I feel like. Yes, and I felt, you know, I, I say like I never get a hangover. I like to, you know, pride myself on that. Like, yeah. you, I can be wrecked. Wake up the next day. Let's go to brunch. You know what I'm saying? But now yeah. I am going through. I, I'm, I'm starting to get that like sinus thing where it's like in your nose and your neck gets super stiff. Mm. Yeah, it's getting kind of hard to swallow. I know. I, I can see you're, you've you've checked out. Well, we got a whole show ahead, so uh, you know it'll be a, you're in for it. Power um, on. So much to talk about on the show. We have to talk about AJ, uh, and and we'll get into more detail. But AJ has a journal in her possession that was left in her parents' home. It's not by a ghost. Like we think this person is still alive. So we're going to read excerpts of that and talk about it. Uh, apparently, you know, the other thing that we we have to get into is there's a celebrity who has not driven in 25 years. You imagine not driving. I'm getting, I mean, I'm getting close. I'm going to be serious. I gave up my car three or four years ago. It hasn't been the best experience ever to give it up. Amazing. All I want to do is text anyway. I don't want to get behind the wheel. I just, I want to text. So like, I love hopping in the Uber. She's the best passenger. I, as I've said before, and you know, I'll, I'm upset because I have a four eight, you know, Jackie is a higher Rating. fucking rate and I ride mm-hmm. all the time Yeah, and I don't want to socialize with them. That's why, and it's nothing against anybody. It's just we talk for a living, so I don't want to get in a fucking lift. Yes, that's your and time. Make small talk with you, and you're never going to pick me up again for another ride. I honestly do have to agree with that. Yeah, yeah. So well, if they're like a talent scout, and they want me to like audition for something, I'm mm-hmm. talking. <laughs> oh, that's true. But they're not usually his name driving. Is Buzzo. <laughs> They're not usually in the Honda van, like the talents. I mean, maybe yeah. they are, but they're probably not riding Lyft. They're not doing Lyft. An old cop was a driver of mine one time. And Hot he, cop? Mm, no. no. He was very chatty, though. He told me all about his his time as a correctional uh. officer. I was like, all right, sir, my, my grandpa was a cop. Isn't that funny? Uncle's Ex-cops, cop? you know, it's so yeah. weird. They're like so nasty on the job, but once they retire, they can't wait to tell the stories. It's like... Yeah. I thought you hated that. Yeah. I know. It's like, sir, I... I don't care who you arrested in Poughkeepsie in 82. All right. I mean, I'm sure it was a rough night. I mean, you know, it's like that's what they want. They're always like, oh, let me take you back to 82. Ted Bunny was on the run, Poughkeepsie. The glory days. Yeah. Yeah, it was that's back so when we accurate. could shoot and we did the reports three days later. All right. Well, you know what? Um, I don't care. You know, is it right? That's what they always say. Now that I know that many cops. Uh, all right. Well, right. Okay. how did we get on the con- on, on the uh, on the topic of Lyft? Well, you were basically saying you don't want to speak to anyone in your Lyft either, unless they're a talent scout. Exactly. Yeah, because you know now you're on your way to being uber famous. And by the way, you were just on WJLA. We're going to play that. And they, let me tell you, they were eating your shit. They thought you were going to be uber famous too. I don't know if they oh, were yeah. all they were like, actors, oh, but yeah. they acted so impressed. <laughs> <laughs> they were so excited. Genuinely impressed. I was like, oh, God, do they have people on here often? I just, Am I in a real <laughs> this a Twilight Zone? I like, think they were thinking, oh, she's going to be super famous and remember this interview. When the anchor dude got I up, hope so. he was like, Yes, it's gonna happen. That's my favorite. Another one like jump better. on me. Like, you never know, like when you. you're on TV and you're on the show and you're like live, and they like you. You're very. You're trying to be like lovey with the people, but not too lovey. But we both had our hands on each other's legs, and at one point I was like, "Wait, why?" You and the guy what? anchor. Well, when he said something really amazing, I was like, "Oh my gosh, yes!" And we both touched each other's oh. thighs, and I was like, <laughs> and then I, I was like, "I'm on TV, like, yeah, I'm very, I'm very, I'll be touchy when I'm talking. I use my hands a lot." And so during the interview, that you'll you'll notice there's a weird moment where we both realize our hands are on each other's thighs, you and it was just up. Like, are people hitting you up? Are they seeing your TV or local TV appearances and going, "Hey, you know, I, I'm I'm loving seeing you on." Uh... Only old friends, like they're hitting me back up. They're like, "I'm so proud of you. I remember the old times. You used to do voices, but new opportunities. Um, uh, it's kind of dry. I thought, you know, it would, it would just be a little a little bit more, like maybe one paid." A, paid uh hosting gig really mm-hmm. yeah you're but i think you feel like you're getting some big inquiries like i think you've skipped the you're not fucking hosting you know a prosecco night out here <laughs> like you you've got some like legit shit going on not like we hope so but the rest of us are pushing out there hey um <laughs> bar tico do you need anyone to host your prosecco dj night yeah i'm available <laughs> they're like all right great we do it for trade two vodka sodas <laughs> And they hamburger. make it three and you got yourself a deal. And it's like, I'll no. be there. Isn't that, that's our, 
kind of insulting. I have gotten some brand deals that they want to ex like just trade, and I I get it. It's no. kind of insulting. It's like, no, I don't no. want to get fr- like one free. It's super insulting. It's it, like, I, I don't, I I'm can't even get go, into though. it. I, I, people will still hit <laughs> still me up do to do free things. And I'm like, you, I would okay, be insulted. Yeah, no. Me, no, because I'm still in the mm. beginning inching my way there until I get some huge brand deal that I'm, that I'm good. But the only way that you would ever do anything like free is literally if it, it was such something that meant so much to you that you believe so much in the brand that you were willing to show them what you had in order to get paid. And then most of the time they won't pay you. Another brand will see it and they'll pick you up. Once you go free, they're rarely going to pay you. That's what I've learned because you've already given them the milk, you know, from the teat. Why are they going to buy the cow? They've given you've given them the milk. They don't need the cow. From the teat. Oh, <laughs> why they're not paying you. You only do free <laughs> shit as a strategy to then get paid by somebody else. That's it. But that's no, a, no that's a really good tip. We are given tricks and tips on this show. Absolutely. I've learned it over the years. I've worked with many people and, you know, I've thought, oh, you know, I've gone into it blind. Like, okay, well, they'll they'll like me. I'll host this one thing for them for free. Then when you come back to get paid, it's like, hmm. We're going to go in a different direction, you know, (laughs) Okay, you know, so now I'm like, I got to think about the strategy. Is this worth it? Can I parlay this into something else that gets paid? No, fuck that. It's so insulting. And this is why I gave you a huge shout out on WJLA. We'll uh, we'll play it later. But it was like the Hey Fresh podcast is inspiring and like everything. You're I just awesome. blew steam up your ass per usual. Well, you're half of this show. I mean, you are such I, a great part of this show. There we I go. couldn't do it without you. Mm. And it's true. And you <laughs> I'm going to say it. You're the best co-host that this show has ever had. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no. Take it yeah, back. Take no, it back. you are. You no. are. Mm-hmm. People are going to, I'm going to be in an alley one day and I'm going to get kidnapped and they're going to be like, this person sent you like an old co-host. By who? The Snacklins mobile? <laughs> I mean, you know, you'll be fine. You'll be all good. I mean, it's all good. Like, what are you going to be abducted by snack chips? You'll be fine. I mean, I mean like, <laughs> by the Backlands mobile. <laughs> I think I'm having internal organ failure. <laughs> Honestly, every time I laugh, something hurts. No, I love you so Through much. All the donuts We're figuring today. this show out together. It's the first time I've ever co-hosted with a woman, and I love it so much. I, I not the first on this level. Yes, it is a yes. great empowering women show. That's a reality show meets talk show. We're in different stages of our lives. It is awesome to peel back the curtain to show people that. Peel back the curtain. You're not going anywhere. No, I, so if I have to come to New York and record at 30 Rock in between, you know, your writing sesh. Oh, I love how you say, <laughs> just, just come on up. Oh, sorry, writing team. I got to go record a quick little sesh. I'll be back. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to need to uh, steal your talent here. Uh, we've got this podcast <laughs> that we've been doing for the past, I don't know, five years. We need Nick. It we was need me before names. you, Lore. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Keen and it, Lore. Yeah. All yeah, the SNL cast yeah. members. No, Key and Peel. We need like something. Oh, that was their last name. Right? No, I was going to say Keen, like Keen and Thompson. We're going to need nicknames. <laughs> like, or whatever. I don't know. We came up with Schmigage Man. Like, we'll come up with something else. I'm, I'm ready. Like, I am, you know, I feel very um, like I'm stealing all of Paul Wharton's lines right now, but I'm really um, opening myself up to being present in the moment and open to what happens next because maybe the show migrates into a different name. Maybe it becomes one day a week. Maybe it goes five days a week. There's so many things that are happening. I, I'm just going to be present and and the right thing will come along. But I love co-hosting with you. And now if we could just figure out how to hire Jackie because we Jackie in I the said. mix. I said stay. Yeah, Jackie in the mix is really good because Jackie, uh, uh, like, how would you describe her with our our chemistry? Well, she's younger than me, so I feel like she just adds literally right in that college vibe that mm-hmm. I've like left, sadly, and she just is able <laughs> to provide that fun, lighthearted. She's right on track with what our personalities are. We went out to the bachelorette party. I mean, she it was great. Like, I hung out with her my whole college I life. I know. My high school friend, who's going to be um, at the wedding, says, I'm going golfing at Sugarloaf. This is like, okay, before that sounds your hot. wedding. Is he rich? Uh, they probably do pretty well for themselves, but he's oh, married. He's married. He's married. Oh. He, you're going to meet him at the AJ. You're going to meet. Oh my God. He could rival you in drinking. And he is, you think that I act Amen. bad. Oh my God. 
God. And he also gets, ha- he's gotten hammered in front of his in-laws on like Christmas Eve. And they were like, dude, it's too much. I think he like, fell off the is sofa his, and what everything. Is like he like, did all <laughs> kinds of shit. Yes, his wife is amazing. You're going to meet them. They're super party people. Love it. But he just wrote to me about Jackie. He says, we've decided your intern producer girl looks exactly like porn star Bella Knox. 100%. Look it up. See you at your <laughs> wedding. Can't wait. Whoa. That's a fucking... Looking it up right now. You I do kind of look like Bella Knox. Are we, gonna, are we going to get in trouble if I look this up right now? Uh, no. no. TMOS, <laughs> I feel like... Well, actually, maybe. I mean, they're always Googling like 1974, you know... Kroners. Okay, what are they looking at? First off, oh wait. <laughs> oh, Jackie. <laughs> only with the only because she's sorry, wearing her glasses. Hair is a but her jack smell. attack. Her hair is what? a fucking mess. Um, you Sarah, do. this looks like your uh your boudoir shots. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Okay, no, you kind of look like Bella Knox if if you would blonde if hair. she maybe washes her hair every now and then. <laughs> this sweet yeah, thing well. is a porn star. I think I did know this, but I forgot what she looked like. Oh my god! Okay, she I'm so only sweet. okay from afar. I can only see it from this picture, literally from afar. But once I open it and get closer, I don't think so. But that's such a good comment. Yeah, there. I, I'll be there. a porn star. Go for it. All right, Sarah's friend. Who's Sarah's porn look alike? <laughs> oh my god! I don't even know. Probably that like 68 year old dominatrix chick who's applying her lipstick. Oh my God. You want to know what? My kids are so proud of me when I suck on them balls. Like that's me. Like, that's me. That's me. You want to know what? I have a spot of tea and then I whip the shit out of some boys and it feels so good. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Oh my God. I've been married three times and I'm sick of it. I've been married and divorced to Schman at least twice. <laughs> he still sticks around because, well, he's an old bloke himself. He's more in love with his soccer balls than he is with mine. Like that. Like, like that, that's true. Like, I would probably get divorced from Schman and he'd still hang out. He'd be like, oh, I don't want to leave you, you know? I, oh, I, good God. Um, I think it was like... He once wondering. told me in therapy, like, he was staying with me because he felt bad for me. I was like, um, okay, I think you can wait. No, it wasn't like that. Oh, but my it, God. It wasn't like that, but it was just like. You're recalling therapy I, sessions? Like, I, I worry about her. I, I really worry about her. I'm like, I, I tell him this all the time. I'm he like, feels bad for I'm you? I'm like, sweetie, <laughs> sweetie. Sweetie? I was fire prior to meeting you, and I will carry on fire if you don't feel like you can handle all this. So don't think for two secs. That I can't get on without you. I mean, I wouldn't be lost. Like, I don't know how to make coffee. I don't know how to do laundry. I mean, I would be, I mean, it would be a real adjustment. I mean, I don't know how to do laundry or wash the dishes, but I would get my life together. And I mean, I am obsessive about him. Like, I'm always. (laughs) You talk a big game, kiddo. He never posts on Facebook, but every once in a while, I'll stalk him on Facebook to see if he's had any activity. Um, Does he? I love him. No, not a thing. Same with Schmig. Sometimes I search his phone, honestly, in hopes of finding something dirty. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Like, let's fight. I went to his, I went to Schmig's Instagram to try to wish him a happy birthday. He had one random picture of some dude some in a bathroom. other person. Yes, I know. He I was like, so he is so out of touch with Instagram and social media. It drives me nuts because I'm like, did you see the post about you know WJLA? They posted me. He's like, what? You, he's, he's like, literally, I'm dying in the desert. I don't know anything you're talking about. He's like been doing army stuff, and um, yeah. So he's just like totally. It's just not his thing. How did I end up with somebody that doesn't do social media? But sometimes I like it because the things you can yeah. see on Instagram. I try to think about that. Can I envision myself? Could I envision myself with a guy who's as obsessed with likes as I am? No. I know, right? That would be a weird feeling. Like if you got home and he's like, oh, I'm so depressed. I only got 400 likes. Like if I went, well, also I'm so judgy on captions, but only guys captions because they're like, with, like Saturdays are for the effing boys. Hashtag not original. I loved that Chad video. That who's that Chad guy? By the way, that was on Barstool Sports. That's like the OG. That's like Chad. Oh, like, the guy that wait, goes into the courthouse. Wait, does he play yes. a character? Mm-hmm. So that's, on Barstool, yes. Okay, so it, he works for Barstool, funny. and then he goes out and pranks things, right? Yes. Okay, because I was trying to figure out who he was, and did they have like a podcast show or do something together aside from pranks? That I don't know. Or he just uh, literally gets just, paid. I've just seen him all the time through the Barstool feed, and everybody's like, "This dude does such a funny Chad." And I'm like, yes, because he's a male and his name is probably Chad. Like he plays <laughs> the he's a act blonde. so, and he's a blonde with like surfer <laughs> hair. And he's like, oh, mm. it's all, dog. And like, I'm like, you're so <laughs> perfect for it. What's up, bro? The latest video he did was really hilarious. And the legislation lady. What up, bro? Oh, bro. As most of you already know, why is my favorite holiday? Fireworks, hot dogs, and Bud Heavies. And Bud, Bud Heavies. heavies. <laughs> like everyone before. 
<laughs> it's amazing. And then the, the also woman goes, Chad, Chad, if you could stick to the issues of the, <laughs> I the people in need. So, yeah, he's a big uh, barstool guy. Chad goes deep. Chad goes deep. Mm. And then his friend comes up. Yeah. Oh. They're a funny little duo. That's interesting. I don't actually really know about him. And even when you go to his profile, it just says, You're just like, man. Crazy. When we first started out the show, we were like, look, we're only we're doing this intro real quick. And now real, look at us. We're 20 minutes quick. in. We've, we've got some of our best chuckles. We're like the chuckles. chuckle factory here. We're so good. <laughs> so look, we wanted to, to do that, but we have so much to talk about on today's show. Did you? Does anyone here at their home own a Alexa? Does anyone own like a, an Amazon Echo Alexa? My roommate has one, actually. That you, wait, that you're going to be living with? Mm-hmm. You're kidding. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Well, apparently, it's, it's, them. okay, so you know it is listening to you, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's like listening to your conversations, but it's also listening when you do something else, specifically. I'll tell you what it is. Uh, just hang tight, okay? There's a tease. Well, and it's now in her room, so it's listening to her doing uh, listen to her have sex. Um, AJ, by the way, we're going to talk about NBC Bring the Funny. She is coming back for another episode. We'll tell you when that airs. You were just on WJLA as well. Yeah. Um, so I want to air a portion of that. It was so good. I loved how into um, you both of the hosts were, which, oh my God, what are their names? Kit. Oh, uh, I know. We don't know. Okay. Kid and Eileen Whalen. Kid and Eileen Whalen. They were awesome. They Sweet- were so good. Sweetest and realest that I've met, honestly, in the, well, besides a couple, but like the realest of the biz. <laughs> I don't want to say like I've never met real newscasters, but you know they can be very serious in the Very. in the booth, and so like they were actually really really sweet. And then if you guys remember, several weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, we did a show and we were talking about keeping a journal. Um, how did it how did it even? I'm trying to think of how it came up. I think it was in regards to the guy who had like terminal cancer, wasn't going to tell his wife, was going to take her on a trip for like six months, and then was probably going to die or something, right? And then was writing a journal maybe and like wanted to share, but he didn't disclose any information with his wife. <laughs> maybe that was it. So anyway. We essentially, um, you had said, AJ, that your parents used to have an apartment in their home. They rented this apartment out. And the woman that rented it for a period of time left her journal there. Left her journal. I was cleaning cleaning out the closet. And I find the journal. And I'm like, Mom, was this anybody's journal? Because it's super cursive and neat. And she told me that... (laughs) An old tenant left this secret journal and they always kept it because of the funny stuff that was inside. Of course, some of it's like a little sketch, but a lot of it is just about her sex life. And I was like, (laughs) you're kidding me. And then, of course, I had to go read it. So this has inspired us. We wanted to bring it in. I cannot believe, by the way, I didn't bring in mine because you you keep a journal, right, AJ? But only for big moments, not not like every day. Okay. well, I like so I read a little bit. We were reading some of the excerpts from your neighbor. And I have to say (laughs) I can relate because hers are all depressing. And when you read my journal, when someone reads my journals. You're going to think my life sucked. It's always like, got in a fight with Schman. This is it. I'm done. Moving out. Packed boxes. Like, it's always, it's so dramatic. Like, I, I feel like all my drama is in the journal. It's in the journal because you you release and you vent. Absolutely. Hate the radio. Hate Kane. Never speaking <laughs> to him again. Like, it's just all that. It's so dramatic. Are you ever scared? Did you ever, like, lock it? I get so scared that somebody's going to find it. Somebody's no. going to read it. I don't give a shit. Because unlike your, this woman that lived in your building, she goes into, like, descriptive sex. Mine is never about sex. It's just bitching about work. And it's like, and then... 10 years ago, it was just all about going on a diet starting Monday. So it's literally Groundhog's Day. Diet starts Monday. (laughs) Ate ate four pizzas. Never started the diet. Right. (laughs) Uh, So we're going to read excerpts of that. We have to thank some of our sponsors. Total Dental Care is your one-stop shop for all dental needs. General dentistry, periodontics, oral surgery, orthodontics, pediatric dentistry, sedation, and so much more. They care about the patient by putting you first. Okay, so a lot of... uh, Dr. Mary owns it with her partners. Um, We love Dr. Mary. I just went for my cleaning with Rita. I actually recommend that you call and ask for Rita. She was super good. Um, but it's state of the art. So everything, they don't even do, when you go to the dentist, do they still use the old tool where they like scrape the, the tartar off your teeth? Yes. I was just there. Little, like, yeah. silver. My teeth still hurt. Dr. Mary doesn't do that. They have a water, like an intense water blaster. So it blasts all the tartar off and it's like a watery massage for your Ooh. gums. Yeah. Okay. My I mean, gum it, just started it, bleeding the other day. So. Well, your I gums can your gums will still bleed because it's pretty high pressure if if you have like sensitive gums, but it's all in water pressure. It's pretty bomb. Sounds awesome. TotalDentalCareMD.com.
tell them that the Hey Frey Show sent you. $99 cleaning special right now. Talkspace, we love them. Um, as you know, we have multiple therapists on this show, either in there, like every day, everyone's like, okay, I'll be out of pocket for an hour. I'm in therapy. We're nut sex. So look, <laughs> that's why you need to also get on board with Talkspace. All right. We all need someone to talk to, a person who can support us through rough patches or even the everyday ups and downs of life. That's where Talkspace comes in. Talkspace is therapy for how we live today. It's mobile and it's available when you need it as well as being affordable. No matter what you're going through, you are not alone. Join more than 1 million people who feel happier with Talkspace. Finding the right therapist doesn't have to be stressful. The Talkspace matching process takes your unique preferences into account to find you someone whose style and expertise matches your needs. And if you want to switch therapists, you can do so at any time at no extra cost. Convenient and easy to use, you no longer have to wait for your next appointment to talk about what's on your mind. With Talkspace, you can send unlimited messages to your dedicated therapist from the privacy of your device. Talkspace has more than 5,000 licensed therapists who are experienced in addressing the challenges as well as... Um, um, it, it, that we all face. To match with your perfect therapist for a fraction of the price of traditional therapy, go to Talkspace.com. Make sure you use code phrase to get $65 off your first month. That is huge savings. And show your support for this show. We always say it. That is the best way to support this show. That is Talkspace.com and use code phrase for $65 off. Also got to give a big shout out to Advantage Financial, Federal Credit Union. We love them. Their loan sale continues to go on. Um, you can get loan for motorcycles, boats, whatever you're feeling, really, for as low as 3.8%. Apply today. I did. The process was super easy. Credit unions don't have paid giant boards, so they're not paying their boards millions of dollars. So guess what? All that money goes back to you with lower fees and lower interest rates. ADVFCU.com. Org. All right. So, AJ, let's talk NBC Bring the Funny because your episode, the next one that you're going to be on, is coming up when? Next one is August 20th. I just found out. August 20th. So they really just ring it out. You know what I'm saying? Like I was there, I was on la- two weeks ago or one or one week ago and then they're they're waiting for a while. Um well, okay, so then th- this next episode, which I'm really excited about, August 20th on NBC's Bring the Funny, 10 p.m. What do you th- Okay, so what are you going to be doing in the second act? You made it through the first round, which is huge. Made it through the first round and they said they wanted to hear more about like they wanted to see more in live uh, performance of impressions because on that episode I was doing I was using like a TV basically pre-recorded so now oh. I took the idea and I said hey I'm going to do as many impressions as I can on stage and try to switch between them so yes yes Ooh, stress oh stressful yeah it was very stressful there was a lot of wigs involved um, but oh, I don't good. know how honestly that one was all a blur I remember the first one really well because there was so much going into it and then the, when you flipped over to the round two we had like four days to prepare and I switched my whole set two days before the performance so that was even more stressful but I hope you guys like it and I hope I don't look like an absolute freak. Oh, you will not. We can't <laughs> wait. Um, WJLA here in Washington, D.C., or also known as Channel 7, they picked you up. They wanted you to come in for an interview. So ha- um, I loved it. I watched the whole interview. You're so awesome. You gave us, well, you gave me the sweetest shout out and a mention of this show, which I'm so grateful for. Yes, and I had to. You, um, now, okay, I want to play a clip of this because they were like, loving you and it was awesome to see no they seriously I mean I haven't even pulled it up yet but yeah they were so sweet and uh, they wanted to hear more of my backstory so I had already what are you doing looking down your shirt well it's just I got a, I got a lot of, I got a lot of room in this top that I'm wearing today so it's kind of like a cut V top and uh, you know I'm still sitting in my urine from uh, the ball so I'm just I'm just ready to pee myself so anyway go go on I want to play this it was awesome they loved and you know what was amazing so AJ told them which we all know in the show AJ has SNL engraved in her on her ring right that she wears from high school yeah you told them that it was like they both fell the fuck out of their seats they were like yeah oh oh it's happening oh Oh, you spoke it into existence like like they it's almost like they had never even heard of like law of attraction or the secret they were like completely blown (laughs) no no i i (laughs) they were blown when i told them that i wasn't expecting that uh that type of response swear like they you're right they jumped out like they were like it's gonna happen it's gonna happen no you're gonna be famous now oh my god they were so into it when it i came home hysterical. my parents were like why do they respond like that like i was like i ha- i don't know they were but they were so genuine and sweet and they wanted to hear about the story and before i went on air they wanted to know my whole story they're like how did you get discovered and i said hashtags on impressions like i hashtag impression on I instagram know. and they're like 
people look at hashtags like I use them, but I didn't think anybody. I was like, I know. Right. And they were amazed by that. Yeah. And the engraving in my ring. Like they had never heard of engravings. Before. And they never knew that hashtags work. They were mind fucking blown. They were mind. <laughs> blew, I was mind blown their too. Mind over a blew their socks off. And I got to do hot topics with them. That was awesome. Oh, you did? Oh, very fun. Well, yes. you were a natural on television. I was super. I was a, honestly a little nervous because they told me hot topics right before. And awesome. Ryan um, Ridley. No, Kyle Ridley. Hi, producer. producer Kyle, we really love over at JLA. He's a big fan of this show. So sweet. And he texted me that you were going to be on. And I was like, I lo- I'm, I'm so thrilled that you're getting so much press. And I think it's amazing. I'm really surprised that the local stations and I think actually um, a co- I'm going to do a couple more, but I'll post about those two. Good. A couple more stations in D.C., like local stations, you know, hopefully you're going to be on USA 9. Has Fox 5 called you? No, that's actually the only one that has. Really? Really? <laughs> I think um, I, I feel like I don't know why actually maybe they just don't want to promote NBC I hope they don't feel that way because you're a local oh talent God. but I could see that too I could see that too but I'm from DC like I'm local I know. so I feel Your like they would want to is so good so hopefully as we get closer to the 20th they'll have you on okay so here they are they're introducing you the two last week with her spot on impressionations I mean clearly enjoy I'm pooping myself in that moment. <laughs> and your journey is really so cool. I mean, you're born and raised in D.C., by the way. Born and raised in D.C. Shout out D.C., all my D.C. people. Mm-hmm. Woo, woo, yes. shout um, out. The journey was crazy. It's been a whirlwind of uh, like six months. Has it? Has it, Dre? We went out to L.A. to film. I hate, I hate watching myself. I know, we all do. Uh, one of them is going to be live the fourth round. Um, so it was... And, and and agents and but let's and, back up yeah right, let's right. go you you thought it was a joke when they called i straight what? up he I mean, loves it he loves out, it dm'd me nonetheless on instagram because here I they go they're excited about hashtags on instagram and i just thought it was for my friends to watch mm-hmm. um so you know just a couple courtney or star i would do impressions and posted on instagram a scout messaged me said hey we have this new show okay Andrea we know the story the i want the where they jump yeah. out of their seat me too, about me the too. Ring. get to the ring part because that is the best part of the interview courtney she has the the S's and the R's. Yeah. So this we're is- just so excited. Yeah. So that's where I am explaining. They're like, how do you do impressions? And I was explaining break how it I down. pick the idi- idiosyncrasies. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Here it is. Here, here it is. Here it is. Visitation. I went to Georgetown Visitation in DC. Um, but look yeah, my nails are done. So don't look. No, how don't long ago did you have SNL written in there? That was junior year. So I graduated. So 2011. It's gonna happen. You know you that. Could, right? You could. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. He leans it. It's right, right. going to happen. My friends were like, "Why are you doing that? You should put your initials." So I was like, "No, I love that." Real right. quickly, <laughs> talk about your podcast with Sarah Fraser. Oh, the podcast! Uh, yeah, 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 that was so we awesome. Fun show. We talked about. Don't know what studio that is. We're at two different stages. Now I know that studio. Work the career, and she's been in the entertainment. It was awesome. She talks about her way. We talk about. It was so good. Well, that was so great. You guys, August 20th, we will be watching again. Are you doing another watch party or what are we going to do? I don't know. That took I mean, a I lot out of me. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you I, couldn't watch it. I couldn't stay up <laughs> for the first screw one. Screw you. Why would I invite you to the second one? You don't, want, you don't even get in. an invite to the <laughs> second one. Okay. And I'm going to call you about it. I'm going to say, you know what? I was really hurt. <laughs> I was really hurt about that. Wait, wait. I want to bring up one little thing. They said Andrea Lopez is going to be a household name. It made me really happy. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Play that part. Okay. And I feel if you have a dream, like you guys said, put oh, it out in the universe. I can't wait to Offer watch it up. you on SNL. Andrea Lopez, and this insane. is going to be a household name. <laughs> Andrea Lopez. Here we go. Oh, oh, yeah. that's it. I just She's got excited. Like, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> it is out. They loved it. Titty motherfuckers out, oh, yo. Man. That was awesome. Thanks, WJLA. So Thank you, WJLA. Can, can I say their entire uh when we talk about green rooms, because I did a whole study on the green, another green room that I was in, oh, which yeah. was literally a jail cell and some <laughs> dusty carpet and and an old TV bureau. Theirs, they had two makeup mirrors, full glam. They had water. They had three couches. They had a coat hanger. It was a whole like L-shaped room. I walked in there. I was like, oh. We in Hollywood now, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting used to it. I truly wow. am. They go, is Andrea in here? I said... Present, and the <laughs> only one in the room. <laughs> Hello, present. Everyone else was like, some local bartender was like, literally hop off. <laughs> anyway, I was like, okay, sorry. But anyways, it was such a good experience. They're awesome there, and 
on to the next. On to the next. Well, August 20th would be great. I can't wait to see this live. Well, I keep saying live, but this performance. Yes, I know. They they were pre-recorded until the live actually. There's another round that's going to be fully live. So, and you'll hear more about that. I'm not going to give any more. I don't know what we can and cannot say. All I know is like who went to the next round, obviously. But needless to say. Uh, Needless to say. Um, Okay, let's talk about this journal because I loved when we brought this up. I was so blown that you actually found this. Who found this, by the way, in your parents' home? Was it your mom or was it you? So I hate to say this, but my parents, surprisingly, are a little bit of hoarders. Really? Um, yes, you also have that. Yeah, one hundred percent. I have been with her. She like hoards not only her own stuff, but then yours. I've been with her when I was digging through my clo- my storage unit downstairs. She's like, "You're gonna give that to Ronnie? R- really?" It was a nice mirror, and I saw so much potential. And Sarah was like, "I was like, why is this in your storage unit? We could do so much things with you, this." You, you have a little bit of it too. It's funny does pass on probably so uh, when I found this and I keep a lot of like my parents are nostalgic so they'll keep our old journals and it's just like or or, it's like chicken scratch because we were three or something you know they still keep it they save everything yeah so I was looking through it and I was like none of us would write this and then I saw a couple words like sex and pulsing and I was like this is definitely not a child's journal like (laughs) so I asked my mom and she was like oh my god that's our old renter that used to live in the house and she was like a friend of your aunt's and we just never threw it away because it was so funny so then of course I had to read through it and be a bitch and like literally invade her privacy so much um (laughs) so this woman you find this journal she lived with your parents for a period of time it she writes everything I mean she's just like me like every bad thing has happened to this chick like day after day I mean this chick it's like it rained for like six months straight. I mean, so, when it rains, it pours. Read like, some oh, of these excerpts. Sure. I do feel like if you're inspired, we should almost bring in our journals and read them. But definitely, I'd love to hear from you guys, Sarah at HeyFrage.com, or you can follow us at HeyFrage on Insta, at AJ on the mic, um, at Jackie underscore Petrus. So tell us, like, if you have an old journal, it'd be funny if you, like, want to send us a clip of you reading it or or even, like, screenshot <laughs> a funny caption. Let's make that a new segment where it's, like, know. Frage's journal or, like, we need something a little bit more alliteration. Reveal. Right. Mm. Frage X reveal or like, yeah, something that's super catchy. But like Mm. if you go back and read journals, it's really funny. funny. I know. It's so. uh, uh, It also refers back to my parents sometimes. And that's my favorite. (laughs) Oh, okay. What did she say about them? I guess he called a couple times, but I didn't get the message. The Lopez's are jerks. He still wants to go out on my birthday. Yes. Now I'm hotter for him than ever. I can hardly contain my joy. I can hardly remember what he looks like. My crotch is still a little sore. Oh, (laughs) wow. Can't. Girl getting beat out with that crotch. Okay. 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 What else? What's this date from? What's this excerpt from? Tuesday on sex. Sex is probably the most powerful emotional experiences. It's the only way I know how to be intimate. I can't really be intimate in any other way. I give myself away and become eternally fused with the other person. This sounds like Avatar. You know when they right. fuse bodies? <laughs> they like put their hair together and they're like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here we are. I honestly wanted to go to Avatar World so bad. I was like, that looks so cool. When did you go? Did you ever go down to Universal? No. They have a Pandora World there. Oh, wait. Is it, wait, is it at Disney? Avatar. Or is, You're lying. I don't know. I don't know where. Yeah, I, I thought at Disney they had like a uh, Avatar World. Okay, anyway, go on. Sorry. I don't know. Sorry. I'm having like severe Back to fusing hair and sex. <laughs> yes. Dear jerk, I've been pimped around a lot. Oh, okay, but she okay. uses the word "pimped" very liberally. Like, it, it doesn't was, have the same kind of. Context. And this was what eighty six. And right, what did you say the date was when you were nineteen eighty seven? Eighty seven. Well, maybe that pimp was like rad back then. I, you yeah, know, everything was there's radical. There's one that says like the doctor was pimping somebody out. So I don't know. We're not sure yet if she's <laughs> a sex worker. Still, we don't know what's going it's a on here. Unclear. They said she was a very modest little white girl. Well, they all are. <laughs> I mean, they all are until they get like three drinks in them and then they're just sucking cock left and right. Left and by the way, time. I'll take $50, okay. you know, oh, that'll be 50 bucks. Okay. Uh, I've been pimped around a lot, but you take the cake. You're a fruit cake. You told me that I was beautiful and that I had a great body. We agreed to be more than just friends. You invited me to your apartment. You asked me to stay overnight. You took off my shirt. You took off my underwear. You climbed on top of me. You had oral sex on me. Five, <laughs> count them, five hours after we met. <gasps> what? Oh, okay. I thought it was going to go five times, five, five count hours them. after we met. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, I'm sorry. I just my crotch is so crotch damp is right now. It's like and not because of the reading. Not in a good it's way. It's just it's damp in like all the wrong ways. Okay. It's damp in all the wrong ways. And you know, I remember finding some other ones. So we're gonna keep on reading this. We're gonna keep this sex journal. I love this. It should be like a way to close up. I really show. don't. You aren't you at all curious? You said that, you, that she's had no contact with your parents. Aren't you? Aren't we curious to look her up and find I out if she has to. a Facebook and just see what she's doing with her life? Because I really want to too. Some of the other things are really dark. Like we're not. She seems to talk about sexual assault, but we're not so sure if she was assaulted or if she assaulted the man. That's was, another good point. I cried. Very, at the, I cried at the park at lunch today. These guys who were drinking beer were saying stuff to each other, and they ended up calling me out and saying, "Hey, it's going to get better, better, kiddo." All right, so clearly, <laughs> this woman's all over the map. Now like I want to know how this story ends. Like, and a lot of it talks about like money. Like people are paying people, people are owing people money. It's that's why I wonder like what was what going she's doing on. Now. Yes. And there's phone numbers, so I think we should call those. Hey, we're wondering if you recall <laughs> back in '86. Uh, <laughs> we ever like with a white day. woman, Meek. Is she giving you blowjobs for money? We're just wondering. I know, random number. No, we don't have a good history with prank calls. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's because we just don't give people the proper heads up. We're not really sure. <laughs> like, surprise. Uh, I will say this. Amazing artist, by the oh, way. Yeah. Is really? She, oh, just, oh, look at that oh, facial shit. definition. Do you think she was a sketch artist for a courthouse? That's fucking scary as hell. The man is that could have been a serial killer. Yo, what if, oh, oh a some sketch like, artist. actual crime's happening and she's got the real Where guys. is that supposed to be of your dad? Is that like Benito? <laughs> He's not bald. Okay, well. There's another one, too, if you flip, like, two pages before, maybe. I mean, she's just an artiste. You're an artiste! Mm-hmm. Okay, what's that sketch? Um, This looks like an elderly woman. Is that supposed to be your grandmother? Maybe she's just sketching everybody in my family. Oh, that looks like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> yeah. Nice work. Oh, my God, Ginsburg. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I see it. I see it. <laughs> Ruth Bader. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. All right. Yeah, she's got so tons we, of guys' number. Kurt. Oh, Kurt. Debbie in Buffalo. All right, look, I would say, look, if we hadn't already had a prank called Disaster, we would give it a whirl and go, hey, uh, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe we should just wait. Wait it out. I feel you. You know, what do I? Bad judgment. <laughs> I don't care. All right. Uh, well, I want to hear like your journal entries, though. Let's make this a thing. So definitely screenshot like a caption, like something funny, something like that you want us to share that you don't mind being shared on the show. We won't use your real name. Um, Sarah at HeyFrage dot com or you can hit us up on social media. It's at HeyFrage at AJ and the mic at, at Jackie underscore Petrus. We know that the interns are going back to school, but you know what? It's social fucking media. They can get in touch with us. OK, OK. Uh, okay. Alexa is listening apparently to your sex. Like, do you guys know, realize this? Appa- there are actual centers where they're monitoring various trends off of Alexa. Who buys an Echo or an Alexa? Because when you, I know of so many people, it's scary. So when you get it, you automatically agree that at times they can be listening to your conversations for marketing research. But they are saying that in Romania, the centers where they do some of the screening, that they could be listening to you having sex. What kind of information are they picking up from your sex noises? Well. <laughs> From the bed, so I'm like, sure. Like probably how long? Then they, they have can, a certain mattress, and we should we should we should throw them with some like, commercials oh, yeah. of um, send them a new mattress the cloud. right now. <laughs> yeah, they could find out so many things, right? If you have a dry vagina, like maybe then they could advertise lube to you. I'm ill. You know what they're gonna pres- <laughs> prescribe to me? <laughs> probably what? some service to like uh, maybe a sex therapist. Like, hey, here's how you finish. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> See, they'd be marketing vibrators, marketing vibrators other things to you. It still Ooh. hasn't happened. Well, we're not even discussing that. It's such a sore subject. Really? I'm so focused on the career. It's made me a dry person. I just dry. I'm just like so mentally focused on the career now. That nothing is flowing down there. But you know, like. Who's Schmiggy? Like lots of artists need sex. Yeah, I know. It probably just like gets them going and like inspires them. It releases like all your sort of tensions and stuff. Not for you. (laughs) No, I'm as tight as a whistle. Bummer. At least right now. But, you know, I go through phases. So that's what Alexa is probably going to start showing me. Uh, apparently. So it, it says that it could be at random. You agree to have conversations listened to. Uh, do people really know that, though? I feel like they're buying the Echo, not really believing that it's happening to them. This is sc- very Cell- scary. Cell phones do the exact same thing, oh, yeah. though. Actually, you know what? I thought of you. There is a documentary right now on Netflix. Netflix What's it called? Just on the Brink or it. something. Um, uh in a blink. Anyway, go to Netflix. They're heavily promoting it, but the mm-hmm. whole tagline is exactly what we talk about. And the guy starts out, do you ever feel like your phone is spying on you? Have and you the ever... whole classroom's like, 
Yeah. Anyway, they go into um, Cambridge Analytics and we had to turn it off because Dan got so fired up because they were talking about how it elected Trump. And oh, yeah, they were talking Dan about Brexit. Dan dislikes Trump so much, so he can't <laughs> handle it. I've never seen Dan like near breakdown status except for the night that Trump was elected. And sorry to all the conservatives on here, but Dan was like, uh, like inconsolable. I was like, hon, you got to get together. Like, I mean, it's going to well, be I okay. know a lot of people. I woke up and I was just like, inconsolable. Shit. Really? I, I Me was, too, but I slept like a baby. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, there are some systems in place. Like, you know, I, I mean. We do have a Congress. Yeah, well, sort of. I guess they were. Right. Until, um. I don't know. You know, here's the Handmaid's Tale. I, right. This is like, for me, I mean, I admire people that can talk about politics. I know jack squat about politics. <laughs> I really do. I, I, I listen to Dan and that's about it. Okay. I really do. That's really good that you're in, in agreement with your significant well, other. it's terrible, though, because I am, you know, I think that's the problem in America. Most people, like, head in the sand. They're like, eh, fuck it. Right. You know, like, right. things are pretty good, so what do I care? It's terrible. No, I it should, is. I should be getting on board. Inform yourselves. Ah, next week. Okay, so, you know, oyster <laughs> shot nails are, like, the new hottest thing. <laughs> I have so it's much like editing to do with it. Ah, next Monday. <laughs> Why are you going to edit that? We don't usually edit on the show, but today's been a weird day. Fuck. Very weird. Always seems like metro, like metro in retrograde. Yeah. Okay. So when um, Mercury gets in retrograde, metro in retrograde, metro in retrograde. That's like for us. That's what it, basically that's what it feels like. Metro in retrograde. Yes. Exactly. That. Precisely. I'm gonna be honest. It is like metro in retrograde all up in here. <laughs> Like we do one show, things are fire. The next five minutes, it has like it's like the whole place is on fire. It's all, it's a dumpster fire as it of now. It is like we are just like hopping from one thing to the next to the next to the next. I think I'm finally getting a cold from your bachelorette weekend. Really? It's starting to hit me. My throat was very sore the past well, couple. Well, you guys went out oh, the hardest. Now. Did you remember what you did half the night? Right. <laughs> Let's relax. I was having a great time. Okay. We, oh, we no, missed you were. it. You were. We know. We ended up in the same hotel room, so I know she didn't yeah. go anywhere. Oyster shot nails. Are we here for it? I and love anything these. you've showed me, I'm here for these. Really? So, uh, no, wait, do we think you can really take it? Like, they, no, they're just, they look like they're like that you could eat an eat oyster them. off them, right? But they're not, there's not really an oyster in there. I would well, hope not. I don't really, I'm not here for oysters on the half shell. It kind of looks like snot to me now. Mm. I try to be into it because... I like all other seafood, but uh, it's actually it tastes like snot. So it does. <laughs> it's a snot. It's actually you know I like, I like all the fried. additives. I love a fried oyster. Love a fried. I love a fried oyster because everything's better fried. But um, <laughs> <True>. <laughs> yes, breaded and fried. Sorry, my crotch is so wet right now. It's just really <laughs> bothering me. It's like it's like now I know what it's like as a child to piss yourself and just have to sit in it all through class. My grandma going through it right now. Oh my god, I know what it's like. It's so much moisture. Oh, no. You never get, like, discharge anymore? Oh, yeah. I have lots of mucus. I have to track it because I'm trying to get pregnant. Absolutely (laughs) not. (laughs) Everybody knows what I'm talking about that's trying to get pregnant. I never paid any attention, but then suddenly you you are aware of your mucus. What, are you reaching for a donut? (laughs) You're ready for, like, a break? You going for a donut break at this point? Well, they're duck donuts. (laughs) Yeah, they're excellent. Okay, now you're rearranging things? Is that how it's making you uncomfortable? (laughs) Now she's, like, organizing. She's like, you know what? I'm going to organize. Organizing this this uh, this studio. Oyster shot nails. I'm so there for. How do you guys feel about this? Snickers says that they will donate one million. They will give out to anybody one million free Snickers if, in fact, Halloween gets moved permanently to a Saturday. Did you all see this? Oh. That, that people like the Internet wants Halloween to officially always be on a Saturday. It makes so much sense. It does. Agreed. It makes so much sense. This Let me find is, out. Yes. What is it this year? It always like goes another day. Um, I end up just oh, celebrating is, it the weekend before and after. It's a oh, Thursday. Yes, oh. because last year was on a Wednesday and everybody was like, do we celebrate the weekend before, or, the weekend after, after, the whole damn week, which we did. So <laughs> like a whole, just right. like a spread out two weeks. Mm-hmm. Change.org petition has been going on for several weeks now is demanding that the federal government, cha- which again, this is actually something we should all get behind, should change the date of the spookiest day of the year to the last Saturday of October instead. The petition started by Halloween and Costume Association, uh, cities' safety concerns about nighttime trick or treating, and um, they see the change as an opportunity to make Halloween celebrations last all day. So they feel like economic wise, it could be better, safer for kids. Because, you know, if you're like Halloween on a Thursday night, you're in the middle of rush hour, basically. 
That is so true. Right? So I didn't even think about that. But they were saying, like, look, the chances of your child getting hit during rush hour are much higher than, like, a Saturday when people are not coming back and forth from work. Not coming back and forth from work. There's also, like, in elementary school, you're thinking about, like, well, this is a fun night, but I have to go to school tomorrow. But tomorrow, they enjoy it. But also, the kids love wearing their costumes to class. So if it's on an actual day of the week, it's way more entertaining. They're going for... uh, That is true. They're looking for 150,000 signatures. And so far, they're right around 125,000. Well, so who's going to get all the free Snickers? Um, so Snickers company just says they'll give them out, like at at, at um, stores. Snickers oh. is all in on the celebration of Halloween to the fullest. Jo- uh, Josh Olkin, Snickers brand director, stated in a press release, if the federal government makes this thing official, we're offering up to one million free Snickers to America. No tricks, only treats. No tricks, only treats. I no like that. No tricks, only like treats. No, that's so smart. But then we won't be able to celebrate it like five days in a row. Right. <laughs> when you get to college, it's lump. a little different. I Yo, sign this. This is so is different in college. Three, sign that petition over there. They say 3,800 Halloween-related injuries. This is on the change.org petition. 3,800 Halloween-related injuries each year. Talk to your kids about safety before they head out. 82% of parents don't use high-visibility aids on their costumes. Be sure to incorporate reflective tape. They give all these reasons why it's unsafe on a weekday. 65% of parents don't discuss Halloween safety with their children. Talk with their kids and offer ways to ensure a fun and safe experience. Were you guys still at the age, like, my parents would still make us check them for needles. They were convinced, which is... If you um, go back in time and really think about it, like it was the most unnecessary thing ever. Also in Maine, <laughs> who's doing anything? It's like so safe up there. Isn't that stupid? Like we, I think there was one kid in 1985 that went, found one fucking needle and it was probably Wait, you like actually found his oh, brother. Just like, what? like that was, was the like biggest thing news. when I was little. Yeah. yeah. Like, my mom would never let me eat like, open candy e- or, or something that somebody like baked like True. She just didn't trust that. Well, that I agree with. Yeah. So like, like if you've seen people's kitchens out here. Uh-uh. Right. If it's not packaged, don't eat it. Yes. But like my parents would always, we'd sit down and they'd be like, all right, check your, can- your candy for needles, guys. So like we would be like going like, over it for needles and then we would eat it. Like what in the fuck? Like what so were the scary chances? for a young kid. <laughs> check for needles. That's going to stick <laughs> yeah. you. You're like, oh no, doctor visits. Actually, it's heroin. <laughs> like nobody think as a kid, you don't think about that. 51% of millennials, and we're all millennials on this show, say that Halloween is their favorite holiday. Nah. Uh, mine's Easter, surprisingly. Mine's Valentine's Day. I love being showered with love. Are you kidding? It is, and you know, because I got mine, like one rose. I hate Valentine's Day. Ugh. <laughs> and like <laughs> maybe one of a piece of candy. Down their throat. <laughs> what does what does Schman do for because you? Because my birthday's the 13th, Valentine's Day's the 14th, so I get double celebrations, double penetration, double gifts. I mean, it's just so <laughs> There it is. There's the answer. Okay, it's making so much more sense now. Double the penetration. Double the treats. Thanks to Penny, I got a little starter gift, you know? (laughs) You're eating during the show. Is this so fucking boring to you that now you're putting like a donut in your mouth? My my glucose level level is so low right now. You don't you don't say. We've we've pulled pranks. We've done triple shows. We've been bitched out. We've had I mean, we've lost friends. I mean, every goddamn day that we fire up these microphones, I swear to God, it's like a whole thing. We're only going to have the two thumbs, guys. It's only going to be us. No, it better be. But I know how this story is going to end. I'm fucking rewriting beaches as well. I'm rewriting a bunch <laughs> of movies because you're going to go to New York. You're going to get on SNL and you're going to call me. And go, so good news, bad news. Um, Good news. I'm going to be on SNL. Bad news um, actually starts in an hour. So this is my notice. <laughs> okay. I'll be like, bitch. But we can still you, be friends. You have eight videos to edit. And I love like, you. I can't. No. I know. Yeah, I'll get to those. Would you ever pre-record uh, episodes on Saturday or wait? It's Saturday yeah. night, so yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> let's make open. it for Monday. Mm-hmm. This show is totally evolved. Yes, I feel like because we have such great chemistry, and I love the girl show. I feel like it could, you know, Hey Frage can evolve into the next thing. I'm completely focusing on the wedding for the next couple of days. I'm going to immerse myself and be present in the wedding, and then after that, I'm going to reassess like all career stuff. You've got so much going on mentally just with the wedding. I don't know how you're yeah. doing it all. Well, I, I've kind of checked out on work stuff. I really have. That's good to know. Yeah, that's why I'm like, right. oh, want to eat donuts, whatever. We don't care. So, uh, yeah, I think we could because this show, I One think, bite. is a personal journal, really. It really is our personal journal. And I think we put everything out there to basically inspire people to tell their truth. Like, live vulnerably. Tell your truth. Don't be afraid. We fuck up all the time, as you all witness. Um <laughs> And that's fine. I want people to feel better and comfortable. And like nothing's when we go to therapy, it's so fascinating because it's really all about 
just realizing that you're okay. Like you are okay right now. Everything you've done, it's okay. But people don't take on so much. I want people to tune in and go, if these two fuckers can get to work and they're making money on this podcast and once on SNL, well, shit, I'm starting that fucking bakery I was thinking about. True. Follow your dreams, which sounds so cliche. No, it's a lot more difficult than you think because the voice in your head tells you all the reasons why it's not going to work. Go survey 10 people. They're all going to tell you why it's not going to work because they're coming from their own past trauma and past experiences. You've got to really whittle through to find good advice. It's very difficult to actually live your dream, which is why it's important to keep saying it. Put it out there. Engrave it on a ring. There you go. Tell some people. No. I love that. They'll get excited for you. They will. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Look, I know this is like the oldest story we've ever done of all time, but you might want to check your pennies because some of your pennies could be worth up to $200,000. I love this. This is bullshit. I don't care. I'm going to do it as soon as I get home. Me You're too. Gonna sift this through is your piggy my, bank. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is my claim to fame. Here we go. I find pennies <laughs> all the time on the ground. And now they're saying that this is okay. So this story is being put out again by CNBC to remind people that some of those pennies are bronze instead of zinc, while others have misprints or misalignments with lettering that could be worth up to $200,000. Come on. It said like how to check it. It's like if it's not magnet, then it's worth like a thousand dollars. I don't really? believe it. I mean, who's gonna go through it all, right? 1995 double die obverse. Obverse, obverse. And it, the, the names were so confusing to me too. This coin also shows a doubling effect on the word liberty. So it, if you have a 1995 penny, some of them were double dyed. This coin also shows a double effect on the word liberty. That can be worth several thousand dollars. 1992 close AM reverse. On the back of this coin, the phrase United States of America has the A and the M in America slightly touching instead of being properly spaced. Oh, Lord. Who so I need that? a magnifying glass. Yes, oh, okay. my God. Exactly. Who's going to get this? right on it? This is good for your grandparents that like are immobile. You can be like, look, have you know absolutely what? nothing like, else to do with yeah. their time. Listen, you got to go through these. Here's a thousand dollars in penny. Could you go through and look for the 1972 double die obverse? I this penny. have to. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole list. 1969 S double die obverse is also one of the most expensive. According to CNBC, double dies are imprints with an added image on the stamp and can cause misalignment. From the 1969 pennies, the words liberty and in God we trust have a sort of double vision. Look to them. Do they have pictures on this article? No, they don't, which is also oh stupid of the article. Yeah, we, we, come on. Need, yeah, we need actual examples. images. Or else people are going to like bring it to the bank and say, here you go. A picture book and they're going to be like, that's worth nothing. Meanwhile. Absolutely nothing. Okay, one other story. I do feel like this is sort of depressing, but we should really get the word out. Now tourists are being urged not to ride elephants in Thailand as horrific photos have emerged. And I think this is a good reminder because uh, Thailand is like one of the most visited places for Americans, Irish. You know, Maddie, our interns going to live in Ireland. All the Irish go to Thailand. So they're saying, have you seen these photos? Yes, I hate. I hated looking at them. Oh, my God. They were originally put out by a tourist who was visiting Thailand uh, back in April. But now Twitter has picked it up in, is it, is it Phuket? No. P-H-U-K-E-T. Phuket, Thailand. Phuket, Thailand. No one we looked knows. Look at oh like, it's so, you go to Georgetown. <laughs> then they say that in Forrest Gump, Phuket, Thailand. Phuket, Thailand. <laughs> it looks like fuck it, Thailand, but it's not that. I can guarantee you. I... <laughs> Hate us. Okay. <laughs> no, but that's actually so sad. It's I think like it's the Phuket zoo. or like something. These people, these animals. How are not do you supposed pronounce Phuket, Thailand? Phuket, Phuket. Here it is. Phuket. 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 Close enough. We were close yeah. enough with fuck it. Phuket. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. So Phuket. <laughs> They were taken in Phuket. Elephants can be seen with blood dripping down their heads as their keepers hit them with sharp metal hooks over and over. Another devastating picture shows scars in the back of the animal's head from old wounds. The images were orig originally posted on Twitter, as I mentioned, in April of this year, but have now gone viral drawing comments. Uh, people are saying if you want to help these elephants, 3,000 elephants are working, not just in Thailand, um, but across Eastern European countries, uh, whether it's like circus things still or you can go and ride them or whatever so they say if you want to get involved elephant valley helps in thailand dealing with the mistreatment and prevent prevention of using animals so that's a good reminder because i feel like i still pe see people like oh hey i'm here and i'm they, they're 
posing with the tiger babies and all that. It's just really good to raise awareness. And if you go to these places, just don't go to like the touristy attractions because they're obviously it's like going to the circus. It's so hard. Though. They don't treat the animals very nicely. I know they don't. But, you know, but then you're there and you're like, oh, I really want to hold this baby tiger. And then I'm like, oh, I want to go on an elephant ride. Like, what am I ever going to do this again? It's terrible. It is really terrible. If you see scars on them, you're obviously not with a good group. Oh, I know. Even though, even in, it's sad, even like with a bad group. Um, okay. Um, I want to do just like two things that are popping. Um, so J-Lo hasn't driven in 25 years. Do we want to pause? Should we just pause? Say goodbye to Maddie. Oh, she, okay. back. she thinks her car is getting towed. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yikes. How do you know? Okay, long story. Four Here's, o'clock. Okay, yeah, well. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, have you got to go? Bye. Adios. No, I don't. Mm. All right, well, look, we'll hit pop and really on the quick. back street. Did you guys realize that J-Lo hasn't driven in 25 years? 25 years. The 50-year-old star hasn't driven for 25 years. A-Lo, A-Rod bought her $150,000 Porsche for her 50th birthday a couple weeks ago. And then she was like, oh, maybe I'll continue driving now. Doesn't have like, to use it. Start it up. Doesn't she was in it? D.C. a couple weeks ago. For her oh, show. Yes. She yes. stayed at the hotel that my friend works at. Did your friend How see her? We well, he tried to like go to the <laughs> go to the gym while she, while she was working out, and the security guy was like, "Keep it moving, dude." <laughs> he was like, "Oh, damn!" I would have totally done the same thing. Yeah. Well, she's probably been she's been famous for that long. I'm sure she's had a driver. She's had everything. She was um, like, "Why would I drive myself?" Right. Also, Jessica Simpson being mom Shane for letting her daughter Max seven dye her hair. So who cares? It happens who all the time. time. I am not looking forward to this as a mom because I've realized in trying to get pregnant, I know fucking nothing. I'm like, are you supposed to take Advil if you're trying to get pregnant? Like, you know how all these commercials go? Don't use this if you're trying you're to pregnant. get pregnant. Right. I pay zero attention. She, oh. I don't think anybody, she's seven years old. What was she, what what do they do? Shave a mohawk and get colors? Like what what did she do? She got blonde hair and it's kind of wavy. And then she dyed the tips at the bottom, like purple. They're like almost like a juice colored, like a grape juice purple. That's cute. I know. It's not permanent. If it doesn't affect you, why do you care? Why do you care? Oh, because people are so bitter online. Amazon customers are now obsessed with Priyanka Chopra's GPS tracker that will let you rewalk where your pet Rewalk, like walks. So like you can at the end of the day bring up a map and then walk the same trail they do. That's funny. Who in the God's name has time to do that bullshit? <laughs> Free Anka. No nope. bra. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't I'm not are you talking about a cat or the dog? Like oh, when the dog all animals, all animals. It is a GPS tracker for them. She was on her wedding registry. It's called the Whistle Three GPS pet tracker. It's a hundred dollars. An activity monitor. Then it, then it can tell you, like, if they've gone too far away or you can stop them. What, do you have this for yours, Jackie? No. Well, my dad has a camera for <laughs> that makes dog. But that makes sense because you need to see if the dog's okay. But you don't, right. you're you not letting your dog out of the house to walk around the no. neighborhood. Your it cat. would be cool on a cat, though. Like, if right. it was an alley cat, yes. you see where they go. But also, some cats just sleep all day. My sister's cat would stay in one spot on the couch all day. All day. We have a government cat. And our next door neighbor, and it it was What's a government cat. They go around and they're trained to eat mice and rats. So he just collects mice and rats, and he has a, tr- a government tracker on his. Yeah, they're like the little government secret agents. They go out in the night and they kill hundreds of rats, and he brings them into. What my, is it? A robot? How yeah, do I they sw- know how to do that? You're trained train when a they're cat? first. Yeah, they're trained for like a couple months, and then the government releases them, and they let people take the cats. And so my next door neighbor said he would host the government cat and so basically he just leaves food out but the cat brings mice and rats to the to the yard and he's responsible to clean them up for the city isn't that crazy that is bananas oh my god really we should get priyanka on this cat's uh little this is a whole story that we should do we should have whoever trains them come on the show i never even knew that was real how do they know they must poor things so they must get hit by cars and stuff i mean this cat has nine i've seen this cat dart across the street he's 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 like a robot i swear this cat is not real he's the sweetest cat does not bite lets you pet him lets you touch him i wouldn't touch him because like he collects rats (laughs) But, I think he's a robot. But I think he's a robot because he knows exactly how to cross the street. There'll be like two cars crossing. He'll dart out in between the cars and just make it out alive. Crazy. Yeah. We've got to look at that cat. I never knew That's that existed. Nice. All right. Yeah, he has a fun name. Like uh, yeah. Rum. Rum is his name. Rum. 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 Okay, <laughs> so people obviously are drinking and they're like, Rum. Let's name him Rum. Yeah. Um, well, you guys, look, love you. Amazing show. You need to be following us on social media at Hey Frage, at AJ on the mic, at Jackie underscore Petrus. Be sure to tell somebody that has never heard about this show about the show. We love you guys so much. Hey,
Huge wedding Thank recap coming so soon. Much. Oh my god. Bye, everybody. Your wedding is in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday. Bye.